We can take this ride wherever it goes as long as you're with Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome and I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to be washing my crochet braid. I've had this crochet braid for like almost 2 months, so it's been uh, one month and three weeks. So this is how the crochet braid is looking. So looking very good. It actually it becomes more natural the older the crochet braid gets, you know. So I've gotten so many compliments on this hair. Everyone thinks this is my hair. <laughs> it's crazy. But so this is how the hair is looking after one month and three weeks. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can properly clean your scalp while wearing protective crochet braid. So right here I have two bottles, two empty water bottles. I also have a bottle of water which I'm also going to be making use of for today's uh, video. Okay, so I'm going to be working with the shampoo first and I'm going to go ahead and prep it. So right here, I'm going in with a shampoo. It doesn't have to be a special shampoo, any shamp any hair shampoo would do. I'm going ahead to pump the shampoo into the water bottle right there. And next, I'm going to take the water and add some water into the bottle. So going in with the cover, I'm going to have to place it on the water bottle and next I'm going to have to shake the water to mix the shampoo and the water together. So I'm basically watering down the shampoo. So I'm going to be doing the same thing with the conditioner. I'm taking my uh, hair conditioner and I'm popping some of the conditioner into the bottle. And next going in with the water and I'm going to add that to the bottle. Again, I'm doing the same thing I'm watering down the conditioner so I put a cover back on shake the water and the conditioner together to mix it uh, to make the liquid a bit thin so this is the shampoo and the conditioner right here so the reason why I'm doing this is because I want the, con uh, the shampoo to get to my scalp I don't I want my scalp to be properly clean so they, doing this helped me to properly get the shampoo into my scalp and cleanse my scalp Okay, so before going ahead to grab the shampoo right here, I'm making sure that the water, that my hair is completely soaked in the water and my scalp is soaked with the water because it, it took a while, actually took a while before the water got to my uh, my scalp. So I just let the water run for a bit to make sure that my hair, my scalp is completely <laughs> soaked with the water so now i'm going in with a shampoo and i'm pouring it into my into my hair and it's actually running down my scalp so wetting the hair and having the water down shampoo helps it to kind of run down your scalp so you can really get in there and scrub your scalp and clean it without wasting shampoo because sometimes we put the shampoo on the crochet hair and you think your scalp is being clean it's not being clean so yeah, this is the extra step that will really get your scalp super clean. <laughs> and again, you need to massage the shampoo into your scalp. Make sure you get it into your scalp. Push the hair out of the way. Massage, massage, massage. Get to your scalp to properly clean the scalp. So now that that is done, I'm going to be doing the same thing with the conditioner. Focusing it around my scalp area pushing the hairs out of the way so that way I can get to my scalp this actually makes it uh, easier because the, the conditioner is already watered down so it just runs down my hair and then right here I'm just massaging it on my scalp just pour a little bit of the conditioner and I'm massaging it into my scalp so I massage this conditioner into my hair for like three to five minutes I was just there massaging it into my hair working on my scalp giving it a proper massage you know so next uh, once I was done massaging the shampoo sorry the conditioner into my scalp I'm going back in to rinse out the conditioner and taking my time also massaging my my scalp while rinsing down the conditioner
Okay, so right here, I'm just taking the towel to pat dry my hair, just getting rid of the excess um, water. My scalp is clean, okay? All the build up, the hair product completely out. So I make sure that the water runs clear while after adding the shampoo i make sure that the water runs completely clear before going ahead to add in the conditioner so yeah all right so as you can see my scalp is clean okay clean <laughs> that's the help of the watered down shampoo and conditioner okay so the next step now i'm going ahead to trim out the tangle ends on the crochet hair just right here i'm stretching and pulling and you can't really detangle the crochet hair it's synthetic it's not going to come out you're not going to comb it so i didn't comb it i'm just using my finger running my finger through the hair and pulling out the ends of the tangled hair and i'm cutting it out using the uh the scissors so i actually decided to trim it a bit shorter off camera so <laughs> so yeah so I went ahead and trimmed the other side of the hair off camera. So the next step now, I'm going in with a tea tree oil and I'm going ahead to oil each roll, taking my time to apply the oil and I just go in with my finger to kind of rub it into my scalp. So I just did roll by roll, making sure the oil gets to my scalp. So if you haven't seen the video on how I did this beautiful natural looking crochet braid, um, the link is in the description box down below. So if you want to know how you can achieve this natural looking crochet braid, click on the link in the description box down below so you can watch that video and get all the tea on how to achieve this style. All right. <laughs> and also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. So right here, I'm going in to do the same thing on the back session working on uh, on each row at a time doing row by row and right now i'm going ahead to massage the oil into my edges you know you gotta pay those edges some attention so this is how the hair is looking after the washing and trimming and uh yeah look at that beautiful <laughs> can you see this it looks like my natural hair like i went into the shower put water on my hair and it just the shrinkage took over this is what's giving me all right guys so this is the end of this video as always if you find this video helpful please give it a big thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button down below thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next one